Hey everyone, uh, this is Tobe again. I wanted to give the update for today. And I think I looked at my iPad, it's March, January, February, March the 9th, uh, Tuesday. I know a few of you have been waiting to find out what my results were, as I have been waiting for my MRI that I had done two weeks ago. And I talked to my doctor, Bert Neighbors, uh, the neurologist up at UAB. And we, we haven't gone up there with COVID risk. We've been doing the MRIs local. And we do, I was hoping to do a, a video chat with him today was the plans, but you know, like a lot of doctors that are very important, he got pretty busy. So he just gave me a phone call today and we kept it all on the phone. But in short, he said he is very pleased with everything still. Everything looks very stable. And uh, he just looks back at it even as far back as three years ago when, of course, it fall first happened. And he said, just looking at how much the swelling and everything else has just come down has been great. So keeping me on this normal schedule of, you know, just every six months getting the MRI, unless I have something happen. And he did conclude it, you know, in a, in a nice way to just almost be ready. You know, I mean, it, I'm not going to say he's expecting something to happen, but just to really be alert for anything that seems to start being a little bit weirder, uh, meaning that something could be popping back in and I would need to get my MRI done more ASAP and then get things to speed up to see what's going on. But you know what? You guys have seen any of my videos in the past. I'm not concerned about that. It's not that uh, I'm so confident that things are just going to never come back or not. I do ask the Lord to do that. I know your prayers are always asking the Lord to do that as well. I can't thank you enough for that. But I just keep thinking of knowing God is in charge of all of this. And only he knows if I am going to be here for weeks, months, years, and Lord willing, even maybe decade or two to come. So I can continue to try to use the abilities he's given me to worship and praise and sing glory to him. So that's the update for today. Before I end the video, I wanted to share something with you again. And it almost sounds like something you're going to see on a TV show. It's hard to believe, but if you've seen any of my videos back from when this had all first happened, and of course I still can't read very well. I do read better now though, and that's a great sign that the brain's trying to navigate its way to where certain things that are damaged and won't return, other parts of the brain are trying to do better. Uh, back when this had all happened, I remember flicking the Bible open, first page that was there. And I won't mention what it was. You can go back and look at the videos, but there was a certain section there that sure enough was the first thing that popped up. And it's one of those cases where there's no coincidence in that. I mean, it, it, I, I've heard other people say that they do these things and it's not that I don't believe them, but it's kind of like, really? Man, it just seems kind of like maybe they knew right where that part of the Bible was to open it. Well, I'll grab another bit today. And my wife didn't even know this yet. And she knows I'm probably in here making a video. But, uh, you know, trying to work on some more music. You probably can't see it here. But here's a keyboard that I've been having. Trying to figure out a way to do MIDI into my laptop to do some more recordings and things of stuff. Writing you know, some other ideas for my church and for some other people. And hopefully it's been uplifting for you if you've heard any of my Christian songs I've been working on. But this is, again, honest as it can be. I open up this today and just say, okay, Lord, I need to start working on some music. What can I do? And I promise you guys, I'm not fudging on any of this. This is dead serious. Take a look at what pops up on the first part of this page. Can you dig that? Is that absolutely amazing? I open up the book and I'm like, okay, let me see if there's going to be something I can plop open to and just work on a song. And here it is, Psalm 98, make a joyful noise to the Lord. I'm like, this is just amazing to do. So some people probably think that some of my Christian rock is noise and that's okay, but the words are there and it's always made to reach out to someone, not everybody but at least to someone that would not really want to listen to Christian music or something. Maybe some of the things that I can try to do gives them a boost. So that is cool. Don't be surprised that the next original song I work on is going to have some of that in there. And I'm sure other Christian songs have been based on this super popular psalms 
98 before, but I'm going to just let the, the Lord work through my heart again. Give me the ability. Give me the, the music in my mind to just try to come up with something creative for it. And it's all for God's glory. And hopefully it uplifts, definitely uplifts me doing it. And hopefully it will continue to uplift you. So thanks again, everybody, for the prayers. Thanks for watching the video. I look forward to hearing from everyone in person. And uh, I love all you guys and um, just appreciate everything. So God bless. Stay in touch. Have a safe spring coming up. And, um, you know, just hang in there. Do what you can do. Remember, every day we wake up is an absolute blessing. Amen.